Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Zikri bin Mazaki DD180087 Okay, so for today I would like to present about the introduction of our project It is about the radiation Okay, first of all We know that radiation is something that we can see with our bare eyes Okay, so what is the mean of radiation? Radiation as we know uh, it is the energy emitted by the matter in the form of electromagnetic waves or we call that as photons as a result of the change in the electronic configuration of atoms or molecules unlike the conduction and convection the, tr the transfer of heat by radiation does not require the presence of an intervening medium okay so in fact uh, heat transfer by radiance is, is fastest or we call it is uh, follow the speed of light and it suffers no attenuation in a vacuum so this is how the energy of the sun can reach the earth <coughs> in heat transfer studies we are interested in thermal radiation which is the form of radiation emitted by bodies and because of their temperature all bodies at a temperature above absolute zero emit thermal radiation okay radiation is volumetric phenomenon and all solids liquids and gases emit observe and or transmit radiation to varying degrees however radiation is usually considered to be a surface phenomenon for solids Okay, so for the radiation, there are some general formula that we, we can use. First, we can use from the Stephen Boltzmann law. Uh, it states that the Q dot emit, or we call that as maximum, is, is equal to stress times area times temperature to the power of 4. Okay, so uh, we can find another Q emit by using the another uh, formula, that is, uh, stress time area time temperature and emissivity what is emissivity emissivity is, is a measure of how clearly a surface approximates a black body for which uh, emissivity equals to one of the surface so we can see that uh, if the emissivity is equal to one we can say that the surface or the solid is uh, the black body okay that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amir Aiman bin Muhammad Sauti. And my matrix number is DD180085. So today I will explain to you about the theory of radiation heat transfer. Radiation differs from conduction and convection. Energy transfer occurs at the speed of light and suffers no attenuation in vacuum. Radiation also can occur between two bodies separated by a medium colder than both bodies. According to Maxwell's theory, energy transfer takes place via electromagnetic wave radiation. So, electromagnetic waves are characterized by wavelength equal to speed of light in the medium divided by the frequency in Hertz. While the shorter wavelength radiation possesses more powerful photos energy, which means X-ray and gamma rays are highly disrupted. The figure above showing the electromagnetic spectrum, which is the electromagnetic radiation covers a wide range of wavelengths, from 10 to 10 micrometer for cosmic rays to 1,010 micrometer for electric power wave. And then the emissivity is a surface is defined as the ratio of the radiation emitted by the surface to the radiation emitted by a black body at the center picture. Thus, is emissivity is only 0 to 1 value, where the emissivity of a black body is equal to 1. But we didn't cover the black body chapter. Today, then the emissivity of a surface is not a constant. It is a function of temperature of the surface and wavelength and the direction of the emitted radiation. As you can see, the formula where the theta is the angle between the direction and the normal to the surface. 
the figure show the total emissivity of a surface is average emissivity of surface overall direction and also wavelength where the spectral emissivity is defined in a similar manner also to make radiation calculation easier we define the following approximation which means we define it in the question we define by two types which is diffused surface is a surface which is properties are independent of direction while gray surface is a surface which is properties are independent from wavelength therefore the emissivity of a gray surface diffused surface is the total hemispheric emissivity of the surface a gray surface should emit as much as radiation as the surface represent at the same temperature as you can see in the slide the next one is V factor radiation heat transfer between surface depend on the orientation of the surface relative to each other as well as their radiation properties and also temperature V factor is a purely geometrical parameter that account for the effect of orientation of radiation between surface if we effect the calculation, we assume uniform radiation in all directions throughout the surface, which is the surface are isothermal and diffuse. Also, the medium between the surface do not absorb and make the scatter radiation. As you can see in the figure, is the view factor between surface and itself, which is the vector of FIG equal to the fraction of radiation leaving surface side that strikes surface G directly. Calculating view factor is complex and difficult to perform. The next one is superposition. Superposition rule is a vector method from a surface I to a surface J is equal to the sum of the view factor from the surface I to the parts of the surface J. The figure showing the superposition rule for the view factor and the vector of F. The next one is, uh, I mean the last one is the net radiation between two surfaces. We consider to diffuse gray and opaque surface of the arbitrary shape mountain at uniform temperatures. The net rate of radiation heat transfer for surface I to surface G can be expressed as the following formula. While in analogy with Ohm law, a resistance can be defined also as shown in the figure where RID is called the space resistant to radiation. The figure are showing the electrical network surface and space resistant. While in end surface enclosure, the combination of energy principle requires that the net heat transfer from surface I to be equal to the sum of the net heat transfer from I to each of the end surface of the enclosure. Why we have already derived a relationship for the net radiation from a surface which is Q dot I equal E B I minus by J I divided by I R I. But when combining these two relationships, we get E B I minus J I divided by R I equal to the total of J I minus J J divided by R I J. So that's all for me. Thank you. Yes, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Jazizaki Pachanizan. And now I'll present to you about the example question for the radiation heat transfer. So we have here, uh, we have two parallel players, which is at uh, 0 0.5 by 1 meter. And then uh, it's been spaced apart, which is 0 0.5 meter. So the first uh, plate, we have 1000 degrees Celsius and the second plate we have 500 degrees Celsius so the massivity is 0 0.2 for the first one and then for the second one we have 0 0.5 so it be mentioned that the plates are located in the dash room which is at maintained at 27 degrees Celsius so the question that been asked is that I find the need heat transfer rate to each plate and the room so neglect the other modes of heat transfer such as conduction and conversion so here we look at the diagram so we have uh, the first plate which is at 1000 degrees Celsius at the second plate we have 500 so the size of plate is same 
but only uh, been apart uh, 0 0.5 meter. So uh, as we mentioned that the plate is located at room temperature at 27 degrees Celsius. So uh, the area is still the same. The only difference is the immersivity, which is at uh, the first plate is 0 0.2 at immersivity 2, we have 0 0.5. So here, uh, this, uh, this is the thermal network diagram. So we move on to the uh, solution. So we assume that the room is black body since its surface resistance is negligible. So we have the question here. So for the shape factor is 0.285. So using the reciprocity, since uh, the area is same, uh, A1 is equal to A2. It's also uh, the shape factor is same, which is 0.285. So we apply uh, the summation rule since uh, the uh, the F level is the F level is zero because it is flat plate. So we apply it into the summation rule. So we have here for the F13, we have 0 0.715 for the F13. So we will move on to the surface resistance. So the surface resistance, we have uh, 1 minus immersivity uh, divided by area uh, and immersivity. So here we have R1 is uh, equal to 8.0. For the R2, we have 2. So uh, for the space resistance here, so the space resistance uh, is quite same space resistance formula, but the difference is that uh, this one, uh, one divided by area and the shape factor. So from here for the R12, we have uh, R12 we have seven point zero eight. For the R23 we have two point seven nine seven. For the R13 we have two point seven nine seven also. So, uh, we have here uh, the question we need to find the density for the surface one and two only since the surface three is this black body as we mentioned before. So, for the not J1, so for the not J1, uh, we have uh, the equation here uh, with the not uh, J2. The only difference that uh, for the not J1, the most uh, common is the J1. Okay, for the J2, we have the so which is uh we have uh, here one point one four eight point eight seven kilowatt per meter squared. For the here we have two twenty point two four one kilowatt per meter squared. So we substitute the uh value into the equation so for the net J one. So we substitute here and then uh this is for the first equation for the not J one and then this is for the second equation. For the J2. So after we substitute that, now we got uh, for the not J1, we have 33.469 kilowatt per meter squared, and the J2, we have 15.054 kilowatt per meter. So we and then we calculate uh, the total heat loss by plate 1, which is at the Q.1. Uh, we apply it into the question, and then for the and then we got the answer for the Q.1, we have 14.425 kilowatt for the uh, Q.2, we have 2.594 kilowatt. So the total radiation resist by the room is that uh, we applied uh, the we applied uh, the energy value at the below. We just inserted the value uh, and here we got uh, what we got here. Oh, we have 14 for what 40.425 here, and then we have 2.594. So we apply it and then at the at the end. For the Q.2, we have 17.020 kilowatt. So uh, that's all for the uh, example radiation. So I, I hope uh, it helped you to understand it. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Fakul Zaman, Muhammad Firdaus. My trace number DD180018. So next, I will tell about the theory for calculation example 2. Okay, the question is, suppose you are designing clothing for a polar scientist. You have material that has an R value of 0 0.6. If you make clothing out of this stuff, do you have worry about heat loss due to electromagnetic radiation? Or if you have handled, the conduction loss will be good enough? So you want the clothing? to be at uh, effective to be effective at negative 20 degrees celsius okay uh, after uh, 
we discuss about this uh, example, uh, we come to conclusion that it is an estimation example. So uh, the solution is uh, likely based on some estimation or assumption. Okay, uh, to solve the problems, uh, we need to estimate the rate of conductive heat loss uh, compared to the radiative heat loss. Okay, so for the rate of conductive heat loss, uh, we are using equation of uh, A uh, delta T over R. So next for the total flux, uh, total uh, flux we are using uh, J A uh, or A constant T uh, power to power of four. Okay, so uh, we get uh, this equation A over T uh, A delta T over R from uh, sum of uh, substitution uh, of uh, equation. Okay, so uh, first equation is delta T equal to L over Ka uh, flux. Okay, so from this equation, uh, we can make, we can uh, substitute it by using another equation. Okay, so we know that Z is equal to L over Ka. So equation 2 can be substitute into equation 1. Uh, to make it simple, so uh, we get that uh, flux equal to theta d over over z. Okay, we can also make another equation, which is uh, we know r is equal to l over k. So we can substitute r uh, in equation one, and we will get theta t over r over a so and we can make it simple to a delta t over r okay so uh, from this three equation uh, we can get uh, uh, the equation of flux equal to uh, a theta t over r okay next uh, so uh, we need to compare the total of Two flux. Okay, so uh, first uh, we calculate the energy loss flux per unit area, which is J equal to constant T uh, power four, uh, which is uh, const uh, constant is five point six seven time ten power of negative uh, eight, and temperature uh, is about thirty seven Kelvin. Okay, next for the uh, total uh, heat flux for area, uh, we are using J A, which is A is this area that uh, we uh, we want. So in this example, like what I said uh, in the beginning, uh, we need to make an estimation because we don't know the area. So, uh, in this in the calculation that my friend will show it after this, uh, we make an estimation for the uh, area uh, to and a logic estimation for the area uh, to get the answer. So, we are using uh, this equation a, which is area constant t power of four. Okay. So, uh, with this three uh, equation, which is uh, J constant T of, uh, power to four uh, uh, flux over flux equal to J A uh, and flux equal to A uh, theta T over R, we can solve uh, this example question two. Okay, uh, that's all for me. So next, my friend will uh, tell more about uh, this example and show the calculation to solve the problem. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nur Adin Kushairi Merosmadi. Number card metric is DD180052. Now I will talk about calculation number two. 
The question is, suppose you are designing clothing for a polar scientist, you have material that has an R value of 0 0.6 Kelvin meter meter cube meter square per watt. If you make clothing out of this stuff, do you have to worry about heat loss due to electromagnetic radiation? Or if you have and handle the conduction loss, will that be good enough? You want the clothing to be effective at negative 20 celsius okay even though okay to solve this we need to estimate the rate of conductive heat loss compared to radiative heat loss the rate of loss per unit area due to conduction expressed in term of r value was given in the equation one this eh? okay <coughs> to calculate the full heat loss due conduction we need the area a the temperature t and r r is given in the problem we can estimate the body of the scientist to be 30 degrees celsius assuming he is healthy we only have to estimate his area before we do that let's look at the heat loss due to radiation in this example r does not stand for radius but the r value is the, the thermal heat flow parameter the energy loss flux per unit area and the total flux for an area a due to radiation are given by at equation 2 and equation 3 we know that Stefan Boltzmann constant this equal to 5.0 5.67 times 10 power of negative 8 watt per meter square Kelvin power of 4 and the absolute temperature of a person is 37 degrees Celsius and if we convert it to Kelvin it will be 310 the problem does ask us for an absolute value for the thermal energy emitted it, it it just asks which is more important since both flux are proportional to the same A. We have to compare T per R and constant per constant time by T. And we can get the answer for T per R is in equation 4. Uh, the answer is 80 watt per meter square and the uh, constant time t temperature power of 4 is equal to 524 watt per meter square the radiation this the radiation loss is almost six times bigger we we have to remember that our object is not just emitting radiation into its environment it's also absorbing radiation from its environment but since the temperature of the environment is less the amount absorbed will be less than the amount emitted it the difference that we need to calculate since the temperature of environment is negative 20 degrees Celsius or about 253 Kelvin, we get that the absorbed radiation will be in equation 6 and the answer is 222 watt per meter square. The difference is still 302 watt per meter square almost four times greater than the heat loss to conduction that says 
you have to worry about the radiation property of your clothing. This is the final answer. That's all from me for question 2. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So for the conclusion of our project or report today is uh, in conclusion the radiation heat transfer is e quite simplest equipment to run. The radiation heat transfer is the equipment that used to transfer heat from source to the plate. It is used to verify the inverse square law for heat. Other than that, uh, we can determine, determine the intensity of radiation on surface is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of the surface of the radiation source. When the distance of the plate is far from the radiation source, the rate of heat transfer will be decreased. Okay, so for our project, we use the theory and the formula of the radiation to calculate the net heat transfer between the two plates and the material that we use for clothing, whether we must worry or not uh, about the heat loss due to the electromagnetic radiation. By using the formula, we can see the difference of the um, of the heat transfer between two plates and which one give the higher value of heat transfer for the second problem we can say that we don't have to worry about the radiation properties because it just give a smallest value of radiation but it is depends on our material whether it is high in radiation or not okay that's all from our group thank you